Bay Systems Haglands has unveiled the CV90 120T light tank at the recent LAAD show in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil which is projected as a lighter, more versatile tanks compared the German Leopard 2A8. In January 2025, it was reported that the Slovak Ministry of Defense was interested in purchasing Swedish CV90 120T light tanks as an alternative to the expensive Leopard 2A8. According to the Ministry of Defense, the purchase of Swedish light tanks is a much cheaper alternative that will allow for the purchase of more units at a lower price. The updated tank, designated CV90 120T was unveiled at the LAAD 2025 military exhibition, in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, from April 1 to 4. According to CV90 platform director Tarkan Turkan, the new machine has undergone a complete electronics modernization and digitalization. The layout of the combat vehicle remained the same as the CV-9040, but the troop compartment was converted into an ammunition storage area for 120mm ammunition. The light tank uses a chassis that is almost identical to the CV-90 infantry fighting vehicle, which means fewer different parts, additional tools, or special technical training for the chassis. The interface for the commander, gunner, and driver will be the same as the CV-90. The turret is equipped with a 120mm CTG, compact tank gun, smoothbore gun, developed by RUAG Land Systems, providing combat power similar to main battle tanks. The total ammunition load is 40 rounds, of which 10 are located in the turret automatic loader and 30 in the rear of the hull. Judging by the video, in addition to the 120mm cannon, the new version will also be equipped with a coaxial machine gun or a small caliber Gatling gun. In addition, it is planned to use a machine gun remotely controlled combat module, which will be adapted specifically for intercepting drones. The light tank will also be equipped with an active protection system that will be combined with a laser radiation detection system. The main armor has been preserved from the original CV-90 BMP platform but it is planned to install additional modular protection elements, including on the roof. There is also the possibility of integrating a regular UAV for reconnaissance and situational awareness. For this, there is space in the rear of the vehicle for two additional crew members. In addition, they can, if necessary, control ground robotic platforms, conduct surveillance or participate in combat command.